everyone, Brooke here from Burnley and Trowbridge. You're joining us for our mini cap sew along. Today we'll be making an 18th century man's cap. Before we start our project, Angela is going to tell us a little bit about men's caps in the 18th century. Hi everyone. Brooke asked me to tell you a little bit about the history of caps. In this case, we're talking about soft caps, and we're talking about the 18th century, of course. So you see these caps on all levels, from the poorest poor to the wealthy. They are typically used for hair protection, and also they could be used in leisure at night, and even at night when they're sleeping to avoid heat escaping from the top of your head. There are a huge number of styles that exist. You see them in paintings, you see them in collections, and they range from very elaborate caps to very simple caps. They were worn from the 18th century on into the 19th century. The caps were easy to sew and easy to wear, typically made out of a light to medium weight fabric, most usually linen, because it was easy to take care of and easy to clean. So with that bit of history, let's go to Brooke, who will take you through the process of making your own. Thanks, Angela. Now that we know a little bit more about the cap we'll be making, let's look at the supplies that we'll need uh, for this project. For fabric, you're gonna need a half a yard of white linen, either lightweight or medium weight, depending on your preference, and a linen thread to match the weight of your fabric choice. You'll also need, of course, wax for waxing your thread, scissors in various sizes, a thimble, a small bit of ribbon or tape, and something, whether it's a tape or a tape measure, to measure the head of the person who will be wearing this cap. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is measure the head of the person who will be wearing this cap, whether it's yourself or someone else that you're making it for. So take your tape measure and place it around the widest part of your head and get that measurement. For me, it's 23. Now you're gonna wanna add some ease to that because you don't want the cap fitting really tight against the forehead. So I'm gonna add an inch and a half to that, so 24 and a half, and then a little bit more, say 25 and a half for seam allowance. So that gives us a length of 25 and a half for the circumference of the cap. For the height of the cap, you're gonna to wanna to give yourself at least 14 to 16 inches. As you can see, the cap folds at least once or twice at the forehead. And then there's a little bit that sticks off the top that's gathered in. And then there's a looser bit in between. So this isn't meant to fit tight on the head. You wanna give it some space. As I said, 14 to 16 inches is a good amount. I'm gonna go with 16 inches and I'm gonna add an extra inch for seam allowance. So as you can see, we're gonna be cutting a rectangle that is 25 and a half by 17 inches. All right, so here we have our rectangle that is 25 and a half by 17 inches. Let's fold the short edge to the other short edge, and this is going to be our side seam. I'm going to stagger the seam a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to lay this edge a quarter of an inch in from the selvage edge. Going to baste these together. Now 
Now that we've basted the seam, we are going to turn it over and backstitch half an inch in from the edge and then fell the seam. Once you finish back stitching your seam, half an inch in, turn it over and we'll be ready to fell the inside. Need to baste the inside here before we can fell it down. I'm gonna fold this selvage edge here, quarter inch in to meet the seam and baste all the way. Since we have a tube basically. We now need to open this up and this can be a little bit tricky sewing with your hand on the inside of this tube. But we're going to fold down. You can press this or with an iron or finger press the seam down and then stitch down our seam. awkward to hold it from this side, you can reach your arm through, gather the fabric up, and stitch it with your left hand holding all of the fabric. Once you've finished your seam, go ahead and take out your basting thread. The next step in this project is to hem both ends of the cap. So first we're going to baste a quarter of an inch up and then fold a second time another quarter of an inch and hem all the way around. Once you've basted both ends of the cap a quarter of an inch up, we'll now fold it up here and hem all the way around. Once you've finished your hems on both ends of the cap, we're gonna flip the cap to the right side out. The bottom edge of the cap can be folded up once or twice if you don't want the hem exposed. How wide you fold it is completely up to you and how it looks best on your head. I'm gonna stitch two rows of gathering stitches about three quarters of an inch to an inch below the hem of the cap. All right, after you've finished both rows of gathering stitches, we can hold all the threads and gather up the cap. Once you have it all gathered up, you can tie the gathering threads off. In a nice knot. Cut them off. And now you're ready for your ribbon. Tie your ribbon around. Make a nice bow. And now you have a completed cap. Thank you all for joining us for this mini cap sew along. We hope you've enjoyed it and that you'll like this video, leave some comments, and subscribe to our channel. Happy sewing!